This is a fresh set of images of Comet 3i Atlas taken recently. What they reveal appears to be one of the most unexpected phenomena associated with this object. Until now, the most plausible explanation seemed to be that the comet was disintegrating into fragments. In this article, I will methodically break down what exactly is happening with 3i Atlas and why the new footage presents scientists with a challenging puzzle. Previously, the conclusion of a possible split was reached because on November 9th, massive tails appeared in the images, one of them pointing towards the sun, stretching for millions of kilometers. However, considering that gas escapes from comets at a typical speed of around 1 500 km h at such a slow speed, tails of this length could only form through constant material ejection over several months. But images taken just a couple of days prior showed no tails at all, which is strange in itself. All of this together gave rise to the assumption. Perhaps the body broke apart into numerous pieces, and each one provided an additional surface for ice sublimation, which intensified the outgassing and formed such enormous tails. Recalculations of the required surface area absorbing sunlight showed that to explain the brightness and length of the tails, the comet would need roughly 1,600 km hours of surface area, equivalent to a sphere with a diameter of approximately 23 km. At the same time, Hubble measurements give the nucleus a diameter of about 5.6 km, meaning the required area was four times greater than the observed one. Using standard mass loss calculations based on tail brightness, it turns out that 3i Atlas should be losing about 50 billion tons of material per month, which is shocking when the object's initial mass is estimated at roughly 33 billion tons. It seemed impossible for a solid object to lose more mass than it weighs. Hence, the fragmentation idea seemed logical. A similar situation has occurred before. Comet Shoemaker Levy 9 in 1992 broke apart into numerous fragments and the total amount of ejected material turned out to be much greater than expected for a single nucleus. Breaking into separate fragments drastically increases the total surface area, which enhances heating and ice sublimation, generating powerful jets and tails, this looks very similar to what was observed in the initial images of 3i Atlas. On November 11th, two astronomers, David Jewett and Jane Liu, pointed a telescope in the Canary Islands at 3i Atlas. In their publication, they gave a brief headline, 3i Atlas, still in one piece. This means no obvious scattered pieces, no visible fragmentation, and no signs of dispersed debris. Their analysis was not superficial. They didn't just look. The scientists measured distances. The comet was about 1.5 AU from the Sun, 214 million km, and just over 2 AU from Earth, 320 million km. The field of view around the object covered an area about 500,000 km wide, meaning they were looking for signs of disintegration over a large radius around the nucleus. The images showed a single bright nucleus surrounded by an active, hazy coma with a non-uniform structure. Two opposing dust gas jets were visible. One pointed almost directly at the sun, angle about 106 degree, whereas the direction to the sun was 115 degree, a divergence of 9 degree, classified as an anti-tail. The second, away from the sun in the usual direction, 301 degree. To detect even small fragments, they applied a range of processing techniques, brightness stretching, contour map creation, using false colors, radial analysis from the center, and other techniques. The result? Not the slightest hint of breaking apart was found in the observed area. If the comet had truly broken into dozens of fragments, they should have appeared as trails and streaks but nothing of the sort was detected.
It's important to remember the comet passed perihelion on October 29th, the hottest and most stressful time for it. It was expected that precisely during this period, thermal stress and gas jet pressure should have split the body or at least caused severe destruction. However, roughly two weeks after perihelion, the object still appears intact and continues to generate extensive jets in various directions. If the comet is natural, and I have reason to believe it is, this poses a challenge. How to explain such resilience coupled with the powerful outgassing? 1. Long history of cosmic ray exposure. The comet might be significantly older than the solar system, billions of years in interstellar space. Gradual irradiation by high-energy particles could have altered the chemical composition and surface structure, baking it and forming a dense crust. The James Webb Space Telescope detected an unusually high CO2 to water ratio in 3I Atlas, roughly eight times higher than in typical comets. This could be evidence of long-term chemical transformations on the surface, converting CO to CO2, and forming a crust that changes the nature of ice sublimation beneath it. 2. Hidden Effective Surface Area A dense crust or porous structure could create channels, cavities, or cracks through which ice sublimates in an atypical manner, meaning the real working area from which gas escapes could be significantly larger than what is externally visible. Thus, Calculations based solely on the visible nucleus radius underestimate the effect. 3. Errors in tail mass estimates. Perhaps we are misinterpreting the brightness and volume of the tails. They might scatter light very efficiently, creating an impression of more mass than actually exists. If the true mass loss is 10 times smaller, say, 5 billion tons per month instead of 50 billion, then it's closer to acceptable values for a body of this size. However, arguing against this idea is the fact that the methodologies for estimating mass ejection based on tail brightness have been refined by scientists for decades and provide reliable results in most cases. So if there's an error somewhere now, it needs to be understood in detail. So, to summarize, the initial images suggested the disintegration of 3I Atlas, but more thorough observations on November 11th did not confirm this. The nucleus remained intact, while the coma and tails demonstrate unusual characteristics. Scientists now have to explain how the enormous outgassing combines with the apparent lack of fragmentation and what physical processes are responsible for this. If you made it to the end, give it a like and subscribe so you don't miss further updates on this fascinating story.